Hi, everybody. Hi, everyone. So we are doing a CND requested CND Creative Play swatch video. So these are the colors that I have. There's 10 of them in base coat and top coat. And the base coat and top coat are these, and they match the shellac. So the shellac is silver and this one is gold, which is easier to remember. And they have these nice little stickers. So that's cool. The only thing is that these stickers uh, kind of come off. But anyway, so this is going to be a swatch slash kind of a review and we'll talk about the colors and you know, everything, application. As much as I kind of know, I'll share with you. So let's just put these ones away and we're gonna be swatching on these beautiful nails. Look how long they are. So this is two and a half weeks. I think it's two and a half weeks. That's why they're so long. That's crazy how long they are. So Except for I, that one. Yeah, this one had a bit of a, a chewing, accident. chewing accident. Well. Um, so, and so yes, we're gonna be, cause I wanted to, I wanted to show you the uh, wrapping the free edge technique. <laughs> okay, it's enough of your nails. Uh, thank you. So we're gonna do maybe a light colors on one side. Uh, five, five, okay. And these ones on the other side. Uh-huh, okay. So we're gonna wipe these nails with uh, um, fresh, fresh, scrub fresh, oh my God. <laughs> fresh, fresh, scrub fresh. And so the uh, we just did a manicure and they don't have to be, um, <clears throat> the nails don't have to be buffed. Oh my God, can you help me with this video today, please? Because um, I'm a little, um, I don't know, all over the place. Anyway, so. Uh, and that's different how? So, <laughs> so there's tiny bits of gel kind of maybe left on some of them because we did, uh, what did we do last time? That's swatch. an excellent question. Yeah, swatch, RPI swatch. Yeah. Yeah. Did some swatching and so I guess there was a slight amount, excuse me, slight amount of uh, product of remaining. Product left. Mm -hmm. All right. I still can't get over how long these so are. Fresh, yeah, I know. And for the record, I didn't chew this nail. Yeah, you did. I did not. What happened? It broke. There was a little what? crack. Crack. Okay. And. I may have dug it Helped a it a little bit. Yeah. All right, so the Creative Play base coat. Okay, so the difference between this and a shellac is that shellac is a so-called hybrid. So it has a component of a polish and a component of gel. And it behaves more like a nail polish, so it starts drying as, it's, as you're applying it. Mm. It just has a bit of a more resistance. This is um, pure gel. Okay. Um, and it's it's been on the market for... I would say a couple years now, I think, mm -hmm. but it just kind of hit UK market just recently, so it's gaining momentum. a little bit more momentum because there's a big CMD presence. Uh -huh. So the base coat, the base coat has to be applied thin. So I'm trying to do kind of as thin as I can. So the brushes are amazing, <clears throat> as That's you can good. see. I love the brushes. Mm -hmm. The price point is very good with this product. Um, What's the application the quality, differences? Yeah, so well, we'll see how it goes on. Because you know what, I kind of bought it initially. Mm -hmm. And but I you tried really it. you haven't really to work with it, I no, guess? A little bit, I did. And then I kind of gave up, I don't know why. Okay. Because you know, I have too many Well, choices. if you were to compare like uh, shellac to the Creative Play, like for application, like right now, what's... Yeah, this How one does it feels. Feel? This one feels more like a nail polish. Uh, sorry, like a gel. Okay. So. But the way you're brushing it seems to be more. More of an aggressive. Yeah, because I'm trying to do as thin as possible. Uh, so I'm gonna wrap the free. Yeah, it doesn't look like you're trying to float over the nail. You're just like no, the really to be pushing thin. down and mm -hmm. getting it in there. So, it's still meant for a two-week wear. Mm -hmm. I don't believe. These colors are really meant to be worn for more than two weeks, to be honest with you. So I can see a little bit of a receding, slight, slight amount, but not too bad. Sounds like so my hairline. <laughs> yeah. And, Actually, uh, I don't think I have one of those anymore. What, hair? 
hairline. Or the lines. Yeah, yeah, it's like a, it's like a fade. <laughs> it's ombre. <laughs> oh boy. All right. So, uh, okay, kind of going back to this product, it does cure in a CND lamp, not surprisingly, and it should be cured only in the CND lamp to uh, cure it properly. So I'm trying to kind of go as, as thin as I can. Mm -hmm. So the thing that kind of turned me off is the long kind of removal. Oh. Yeah, it's, um, it takes like 20 minutes. So oh. the one thing that I'm confused uh, when it comes to sometimes the directions, they say that the removal takes 20 minutes, which is a little bit um, misleading. Misleading because the removal includes the wrapping and the soaking and the pushing off the product, right? Okay, this goes in the lamp. So I'm guessing it takes 20 minutes of what being soaked off for it to remove? Yeah, so okay. Ooh. Oh, okay, so now we have an issue, right? With we the new lamp. Issue. Yeah, with the new lamp. Because, um, oh. no, the lamp is working. It's just that the old lamp uh, had a timer. Okay. So the base coat has to be cured for 10 seconds. Okay, pull it out, pull it out. I think 10 seconds, I'm gonna double check. Yeah, 10 seconds. <laughs> and because if it's cured longer, mm -hmm. it's going to be more difficult to remove the base coat. But the new lamp doesn't have a timer. So what I would suggest is actually grabbing a timer mm -hmm. and waiting for the client if you're doing both hands. Once you start working with the other hand, mm. it's, um, well, it you're gonna timer, forget. It's, just, it's not like a, like a digital timer. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, so this is cured. And let's see. So I'll do the base coat for the other hand later, but sure. we're gonna swatch the, these All colors right. first and then. Swatch All right, so we're gonna start with the lightest color. It is called, Two two B or not to be number four seven seven. So it's this one. So it's kind of a very sheer color, and it's it is nice for you can actually use it over other colors. It's like a pinkish gold shimmer. I kind of, to be honest with you, I would not use this on its own because you don't see the pink, but I only see the gold and it just looks a little, hmm, I don't know, right? Uh -huh. So the second one that I have, I just actually got this one today, um, is Tickled, number 521. So it's like a nude pink. It looks uh, nude. So these colors are available. Oh, at Nails nice. R Us. At Nails R Us in Canada. Oh, it's kind of sheer. I actually thought it would be more um, opaque. Okay. Um, Nails R Us in Canada and Sweet Squared in Europe. Oh, it's actually nice. So it has a little bit of shimmer as well. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so it's okay. And now we're just gonna go kind of uh, Cherry Glow Round number four nine six so this one is really kind of a cool color i've used it in the past and it's like has like a, a sheerness to it but it kind of covers really well well let's see what i mean like it's not supposed to cover fully it has like that jelly kind of finish and it has this shimmer or sparkle whatever So I'm gonna kind of wrap the free edge to kind of show you huh. how it looks. I know. Yeah, so it's different feel. Like I, I guess, um, you know, if you're used to shellac, this is a little bit difficult to switch. Cause it just, it feels very slippery on the nail. You know what it is, I think? What? Cause I can, control the gel polish a little bit better. Sorry, shellac. And this is a little bit, so this was uh, well red, 411. Yeah, so I think that my problem is that I, I'm a control freak and the shellac is kind of, I can, I don't know, it just kind of doesn't move on, on you. The thing is with these things, it's, Coming That's out. annoying. 
Yeah, what are those? This one is a red. Oh my god. Sorry, guys. It is ready to roll. Yeah, so the removal is supposed to take 20 minutes. Um, but Samantha Sweet from Sweet Scratch she actually posted this very, very long, in a good way, um, kind of instructions. And I'm going to post them. Uh, well, I kind of screenshotted everything and I'm going to post it at the end of the video. If I get a permission. No, it's actually publicly posted. No, do I need a permission? I would say as a, as a common courtesy, yeah. I would ask permission. Okay, okay. okay don't move, don't move. So this is red. So, All right, so you see I kind of wrapped the free edges, but I'm slow at painting because I'm talking. And you can see, hold on, hold on. You can see what happened. This one pulled away already, right? These ones we can't see that yeah. they pulled away, but it's kind of they rounding off. You can see where kind of pulled back a bit. Yeah, so you can see on the side a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to flash cure it. Um, and then I'm going to actually wrap actually wrap the free edges don't don't touch them don't, they're bothering me i know I'm oh gonna, i'm I gonna pull it, it off. down so yeah so the removal kind of um kind of kind of, kind of killed it for me a little bit mm. it's not easy well and that's the thing right. you don't want something that has a, a lengthy removal process yeah because by the time you wrap the nails mm. by the time you um, soak it by the time you push off the product, um, it is half an hour. And that's too long of a removal, in my opinion. I like this one. I was kind of that's hoping... That's the one I don't like. You don't like it? No. Okay. See, now, when I put this, like this, it stays there. Mm. So I should uh, patent this technique. And uh, Let's see how well that works out for you. Okay, yeah, let's try it first. No, yeah. no, no, but I actually have a video about this technique. And it does work, because I use that so It's tried and true. It's a little bit quicker when you're doing this uh, with one color, obviously. Okay, flash cure it just a little bit. Yeah, so I should patent it and then charge everybody who's using this technique. As I'll I be said, a millionaire. We'll, uh, okay. we'll see how that works out for you. Mm -hmm. But you know, if this technique kind of helped you, because it does help, if you could sign up for my Patreon, that would be awesome. I'm going to put a link below. All right, so let's cure this one um, for a full cycle, whatever thing. 60 seconds. 60 seconds in the CMD lamp on the setting 2S. And in the meantime, I'm going to talk a little bit about true gels and separation. Like, you true know, gels the, versus? No, not versus, um, them separating. So when the gels are sitting for a while, the pigment drops to the bottom and the top is clear. So when you first lift the uh, brush it looks good because the brush has been sitting in the bottom but then when you re-dip kind of you don't dip all the way to the bottom again you start dipping into the clear section mm. and the polishes they go on very streaky not um, they shrink a lot and things like that so you need to mix these ones for a good minute so i actually would suggest using the pro shaker because I've, I've had i've had it for a while we initially bought it when it first came out and then years it kind of ago. years ago and then kind of broke I got it fixed okay this one is done um, I got it fixed and then it broke again so I'm gonna get it fixed again because I just even asked to Joey at uh, Neil's yeah, house today that they're gonna fix the old one for me again things happen and I used that shaker a lot right because yeah that was uh, definitely something that it's not a, quite a, bit. a cheaply made no, it's product. Actually it's all... actually a very well built yeah. item, and it was just used extensively. And you know what? Things it's wear give up. Up, give up the ghost. That's how I say it. Yeah. Okay, so this one is uh, it's kind of a soft look. I'm not sure. You're right. You know what I would like to see is I would like to see the glitter being a little bit finer on this one. And actually funny, look, touch the bottle thingy. I it see it. It actually has a texture. Oh yeah, I see it. I'll show you that it's textured. Textured. Mm -hmm. So now you see how this one stayed. Mm -hmm. 
right? That didn't pull away. Yeah. Genius. So the good thing about the true gels is that you you can kind of use them all the way up to the very bottom, but they don't dry out. See, this one actually covers well. It's not bad. Yeah. So I think, um, what do you think about doing, after we're done this video, we're doing a so-called video. Let's see how it sucks out. Sounds fantastic. Exciting, eh? Exceptionally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So let's see how this goes. Yeah, it's really slippery to use. Okay, I'm gonna flash cure it again. Because when you sometimes you are working on these nails, they're nice and flat, and then when you go like this, mm -hmm. it tends to drip. I find with shellac, it's not really happening as much because it um, shellac sets up a little bit. Yeah. And we're actually gonna do actually. Can I stop using that word? Actually, every video. But anyway, so I'm going to show you the top coat as well. And the top coat is really nice. It's really shiny. So it is important that the gel polish is applied evenly. Another thing that I wanted to kind of talk about, oops, we might have a bit of an accident, but is that, you know how people say that um, sometimes gel polishes, they um, peel, chip, and everything else. Mm -hmm. So gel polish is designed, I'm gonna use this next, for healthy nails that are normal on a stronger side. So none of these products are really designed. I like I have such a different belief when it comes to the notion that gels or enhancements are supposed to be used for strength. Because people ask which product is stronger. I never say that one product is stronger than the other. It's just certain products are used depending what kind of work you're trying to do, mm. right? So I think the, the um, very flexible gels are great to be used, like the soak up builders, things like that, are very good to be used over um, shorter nails because they're very bendy. See how this one looks kind of yellow? Yeah. So, um, so they're kind of bendy, but the good thing about that the fact that they're bendy is they don't lift at all so they give a nice even coverage yeah. um, but they are very flexible so they're not good for any extensions so the hard gels are not necessarily stronger they are just harder so they can support a longer extension because if you extended the nails with a soft gel they're gonna bend so it's giving you better support, but for the length, not for the strength of the nail. Yeah. Right? And a lot of people kind of don't see it that way, and that's how you kind of run into problems. So I suggest, like, if I see clients' nails, their client, their nails are naturally um, thin, peeling, very bendy, usually gel polish by itself is not going to be a good solution. So what I actually start doing now is... Um, I book my clients as like new clients, like brand new client that doesn't know what she wants to do. Um, I actually book them as my last appointment and that allows me to kind of really sit down with them and explain everything, um, all their options and look at their nails. And then based on that, establish the type of enhancement that they would be best suited for, right? Because very often people are like, oh, I want this or I want that, but they don't really understand um, what the differences between the enhancements, right? All right, so let's just flash cure it. All right, and let's do this.
So I find the top coat needs to be used with a slightly lighter touch, like kind of a feather. Because you see, if you press, it starts to spread a little bit. Like it starts to develop these little pits. Okay, so this one goes in the light, so let's cure it. And now let's do the other hand. I'm gonna wipe them again because you were like holding my head up. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to use something different here. I'm going to use a gel brush to apply it on the face coat. See if I can get it thinner, and actually, we'll see if there's a difference in the removal process. Mm -hmm. Another thing uh, that some people are kind of curious about is if shellac and this line can be mixed and matched. And the answer is. What do you think? No. No, yeah, I can't. So you have to use the full system. You have to use this base coat, the colors from this line, and the top coat as well. So what I did here, because my brush was not very kind of primed, I just put a dab of the base coat here and I kind of went like this, just to soften the brush. I first cleaned it with alcohol. So let's see. It's kind of harder to grab the three edges with this. So when I get it on the skin, what I do is I um, soak this in um, alcohol. I dab off the excess. No way. I'm kind of curious if this is going to soak off easier, possibly. We'll see, and if the color is going to go on better. Just trying to make sure that the edges are capped. I did this for a while actually, using the brush for this step. Sure. Even with the shellac. Yeah, so when it comes to hard gels, I find that for shorter nails, the soft gels are better. I can actually make a much thinner enhancement and I get less lifting, less cracking, less issues. Okay, so this one has to be um, pulled, um, cured in here. So if a client has, so I don't know, I've heard, I'm not sure how accurate my information is, but I've heard, and I'm hoping, that c and is coming out with uh, like a builder in a bottle, I'm hoping. So right now, the, my product of choice is the Cuccio Builder. And this one is also available at Nails R Us. And I, I would, so for, for clients that have naturally thin nails or very flexible nails or peeling nails sometimes or very ridgy nails, um, I use this as a base. So I build, I use one or two coats. You can actually even use a one coat. And what I do is I remove the sticky layer. Um, I cure it, remove the sticky layer, and then I apply color straight over it. And this gives Daniel a little bit more. Oh, pull it out. Oh. So we made a mistake here. We cured it for a full minute. <laughs> Darn. This is what happens when I'm talking. I didn't realize we were supposed to only seconds. put it in for so long. 10 seconds. All right. So, okay, so this is not going to be a very good um, test, sadly. Oh well, okay, so let's let's start with the black because I'm not gonna use the black on this nail because it's not Well, this is big. all about this watch, so. Yes. Well, yeah, that's true. So we're gonna do maybe that test. Well, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna kill it properly just for 10 seconds. Next time, anyway. So the black feels a little mm. sheer. Mm -hmm. I've heard some not so good opinions about the block. So, we'll see. 
Okay, so you see what happens here? Try to wrap it. It's really streaky. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, now let's try. Okay, so the black was, what is it called? Um, black, black and forth. Now this one is Miss Purpurlarity, right? Hello, Lucy. Miss Purpurlarity. Yeah, this is actually a very nice color. I thought you said purple. 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 This is a really nice purple. It's like a good coverage. So again, I'm going to wrap. I'll try that to show you guys. And kind of, uh, yeah, pulling away a little bit. And we mix the products properly for one minute. Okay, I'm getting to read the names. This one is Steal the Show. What kind of color would you say that is? It's like a dusty blue. Yeah. Wow. Also has a good, good coverage. Yeah, not bad. Mm. Except for my weird ridges. Yeah. Okay, again, I forgot the name. I think you've done that almost on every single one. one. Um, ingredients. <laughs> it's called Berry Busy. Berry Busy. Mm -hmm. When you say ingredients, I actually thought that was the name. I know, that's what I, I, was, I was saw little... at first, and I'm like, wow, that's a boring name. Yeah. It doesn't go with the color. <laughs> these ones in this. So, 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. Not a minute. Well, no, it doesn't matter. No. Okay, a little? A little bit of a heat spike. Oh, really? Eh? Yeah. And that's the old line. Middle finger. This one? Yeah. Oh. So you see how it separated? Either, even though I wrapped the free edge initially, it still separated even when the base got the Oh, what's the, what's the name? Oh. What's the name? Uh-huh. All right, let's... Uh, the bronze stellation. Bronze stellation. Mm -hmm. I find with these colors, it's kind of difficult to get like a nice crisp line. Let's see mm. how it's. No, I don't love, I don't love it. Okay, so let's cure it here. Yeah, I'm not digging that last color. It's kind of, mm -hmm. reminds me of a bad part of the 70s. Oh, and pull this one out. Uh, I'm gonna cap the free edges. Mm -hmm. And we'll see how this is helping the situation here. So normally, because it takes time to open the bottles, but literally this takes uh, like 10 seconds to to, uh, to do. So you would kind of go like this. You'll see, well, yep. see, swipe, swipe, swipe. No. For a second, I thought you were going it. to try and use that on the, on no. the other thing. And by the way, guys, I have uh, Watch Me Work videos, and they are on Patreon. It's a, it's a paid content, and it's $10 a month, and I post I post like two videos a week and usually I'm trying to do um, manicures with the regular polish and one gel polish. Most people, well, I would say it's kind of probably mostly gel polish with some, some nail polish. 
So now this was really hard to wrap. I'm going to clean it up from the skin because this is going to be difficult later on to remove. Okay, I'm gonna flash cure this. Yeah, so the Watch Me Work videos are available on Patreon and it's like a whole service in detail, close up like I'm doing with these videos, beginning to end on different clients so you can kind of see how things wear in real life and what I do on real clients. Because I think that's a big, it's, it's important to kind of see how things look in real life. Mm -hmm. Goes in the light, cured. Because especially when we see all these um, demos on like these perfect hands, it's not really a good indication on how the product goes on and people's nails are not as perfect. Anyway, we'll cure this for a minute and we'll be right back. And we will see how the second coat covers. I think it's gonna cover or not? Mm. I think it will. Mm. I find with black you almost kind of have to kind of flash carry it almost like a coat. Look at that. I was right. It covered. I'm gonna flash carry it because I don't want to make a mess. So what you can do is when you're working on a client, hands in like one hand and then mm -hmm. grab the other one. So it's not like a super, super, um, bla well, it's black, but it's not super pigmented, mm. which has pros and cons, believe it or not. So one thing for sure, it's not going to wrinkle. Mm -hmm. so that's good. It's not gonna under care. So that's good. It actually looks good. Sometimes it's actually more difficult to work with very pigmented colors. Yeah, I like this one. Mm -hmm. nice. I used it on a client, so I have some videos. So if you guys um, are interested, I have, the, I believe, a video with this, this color. Uh, like a watch me work, and I used to post them on YouTube. So you can search it on YouTube, but the newer ones, well, I don't post them anymore. YouTube is a funny place. That's all I'm gonna say. This actually covers better than I kind of remember. why you wouldn't use it on the first setting, the base coat, is because it's a 10 second, but I think it flashes, so it's not really full 10 seconds. It's five or something. See how nicely this is covered? Okay, let's cure it and we'll do, actually we'll remove the sticky layer from the top coat here and we'll see how the shine is. So yeah, so with this one you can see pretty much kind of a gold color, you don't see the pink. So some areas, when you see this, that just means that something didn't cover 100%. The top coat didn't cover. Mm -hmm. I kind of like it. I think, I think it's a 
like a, maybe not on you. Well, not on you, but you know, not, not on your skin tone, but I think it's a good color. Okay, so this one is done. Let's do the top coat. And the end result is actually quite thin, which is nice. And another thing that I kind of noticed with these gels is that the application is, especially with the top coat, is very quick. Because, oops, so you see this actually run into the skin here. So I'm gonna wipe it. Going to flush through it right away because mm -hmm. sometimes the shellac uh, top coat and base coat when they get a little bit older you kind of have to rub it in really well okay um, in order to um apply it thin so this one is here. Yeah, when clients have such short nails as this one, um, I would tell them that sometimes they might get a little bit of peeling because you can wrap the free edges as, as well. What I would actually do probably if the nail was this short, initially I would, and it was a new client, I would probably do a coat of like a the builder, like a soft gel underneath first and then once the nail kind of grew out a little bit then you can continue with just the gel polish if you're a good candidate okay let's get this that's just what i would do again i got a little bit on the skin Put some alcohol here okay this has to turn right here all right let's move this i use alcohol here I'm not sure what my sister does with the regular shock. She doesn't use this. She's a nail tech, by the way. Um, but she uses the, if she wants to create like a um, sort of a builder in a bottle coat, she does the shellac base coat, shellac top coat. And I'm not sure if she wipes, yeah, I think she wipes the nails and then she uses color on top of it and then the top coat again. Yeah. Wow. So I don't know. I'm not saying for you guys that this is like the, you know, the official uh, way of doing it, but um, check with CMD and see if you can uh, if you can do that. But you know what? Okay, so let's take a look. I think I'm a genius. No, honestly, because it really looks good. The free edges, there is no separation whatsoever. Okay, can you see the little this thing? A little this thing. Mm -hmm. Touch the skin. Mm -hmm. So this client is gonna pick up. So what I would do is you can use it for well, I'm just saying I mean, in general. I will. Yes, I well no. I, I know clients. I know myself. I used to buy my nails. So what I would do, you can do it with a regular file or with um with an electric file and just just file this little thing down. So let's take a look at the free edges. They're nicely wrapped. Mm -hmm. There is no separation. Sorry, like no. This one actually kind of receded. It's still a tiny, tiny bit, but not too bad. And let's see these ones again. The edges are nicely covered. Mm -hmm. This one looks a little yellow, right? Yeah, I'm not a fan. Yeah, I'm not a fan. Oh, and I wanted to check something how this looks over different colors. So I get to see how this looks. Mm. Yeah, I think. Not really. Oh, this is nice. Yeah. So now you have like a. So this is such a thin coat that it's not gonna really add any thickness to it. So again, this color would be nice as a. A little add-on. Like a little topper. Yeah. Yeah, this one. Right? Yeah. So now let's see how this looks over the back. There we go. 
Mm -hmm. Let me see. Just a little something. Yeah, yeah. Look, you can kind of do like this ombre. See, it goes from sparkle to no sparkle. Wow, I'm such an artist. Um, <laughs> there you go. And this one, obviously, is not gonna show. So yeah. Okay, so that that that's that's it for today. And <laughs> for the next video, we're gonna do the removal. Yes. And uh, I'm gonna place a link to the removal video below mm -hmm. this video. All right. So thank you so much for watching. The next video, we're gonna do something else. I think we're gonna do entity builder. Uh, so called builder. So, um, yes, if you're interested, it's going to be probably posted a week after this video. So, so this is it for CND Creative Play. Let us I know. We were doing a removal. Yeah, that too. But, and then but, there will be the next yes, video. That's exactly. Yeah. So, there you go. This is the finished result. And don't forget, guys, hit that like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification button, go check out our Patreon. And, and let us know what you think about the yeah. CND Creative Play if you're using it. I'm actually liking the black. I like this look. Mm -hmm. Like I like how it went on and how... Let us know what you think below. Yeah, how even it is and everything else. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye. Bye.